Hi, I'm Monica Bay. I'm here at the University of Florida, and we're involved with the eDiscovery project today. And I'm speaking with Jason Pill, and you are a graduate of the school. I, I certainly am, back to my old stomping grounds. Excellent, I, and rumor has it that you were in Bill Hamilton's classes. I'm not afraid to admit to that rumor. <laughs> I uh, took Bill's class about uh, six years ago now, I believe it was, learned about eDiscovery for the first time in that class and have really been able to use that a lot just going forward uh, into my practice. Well, that's great because one of the problems that a lot of us veterans see is that students sometimes come into eDiscovery with very, very old stereotypes. And I'm old enough that I actually did all of those e-discovery when there wasn't an e in front of it right, right. and all the beginning works so I firsthand that's how I put myself through law school there's so many stereotypes tell us about your experience and where you're working now and how knowing e-discovery and having comfort with it has advanced your career well I'm currently working at Phelps Dunbar it's a regional law firm all throughout the Gulf Coast we do full service everything we do labor and employment, which is my primary area, and civil litigation, commercial litigation, et cetera. So e-discovery is a large component of what we do. And I think the stereotypes is certainly an interesting point, especially for the students to be aware of, because there's a couple stereotypes involved. Oh, yes. There's the stereotypes of the type of work, and then there's the stereotypes on the new students that are becoming the new attorneys. And to start with the students, there is a stereotype, rightly or wrongly, because you can always argue whether a stereotype is correct or not, that the new students know e-discovery because really? they're younger. They are expected to know the technology. Wow. I mean, whether, and, and sometimes it's as petty as an iPhone question. Yeah. But you also, it comes to the computers and the social media and e-discovery. And there's just this assumption that the younger generation coming into the firms. Sort of native to them? It's native to them. It's an infusion of that knowledge. Yeah. So you can really be behind the eight ball if you don't have that knowledge because there's some folks that expect you to. They just assume. They don't realize what the legal curriculums are or are not at these universities. They just assume you have the familiarity. You have the hands-on experience of tweeting and Facebooking that you know how to segue right into, you know, using Xera platform or using Relativity. So See, this is this is why I like to do these because right. I never that never would have occurred to me in a so, million years. So there's that stereotype. Yeah. You you know technology, you must know e-discovery. And then conversely there's a lot of folks that don't know e-discovery. It's toxic. They don't want to deal yeah. with it. And, and it's been it for me, I found it to be very valuable knowing about e-discovery being able to get involved on bigger projects right away because other folks just didn't have that knowledge base and they wanted someone who had more exposure. And taking a class like Bill's at the University of Florida, I taught, I had it when it was taught by Ralph and Bill, so I had two e-discovery titans teaching this great class. Ralph Losey. Ralph Losey, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it was a great knowledge base of something I couldn't get elsewhere. And so when I went into the firm, I had a comfort level and more exposure than a lot of the attorneys there to those, those issues because they just hadn't come across them in their practice and Bill forced those issues into the curriculum, made you start thinking about it. That's absolutely great. We're running out of time, so I have one more question to ask you. How did your knowledge help you in your job hunt? And, and I'm gonna ask a very rude question, you can dodge if you want. Do you feel that you got a higher salary and a better situation because you knew that information? Well, it's interesting because the e-discovery did not help me in the job hunt because I had gone through the traditional clerkship model and okay. I didn't take the e-discovery class till afterwards. Oh, okay. So I took it in my third year. So I actually took the affirmative step of taking the class so I could have that knowledge because I wanted it. And, and so for me, it gave me that comfort level of when I got to the firm, I could immediately offer more to them. I entered the firm in a very down year when all these attorneys were coming into essentially this recession and no one was interested in young attorneys. So to me, eDiscovery was a great way to try to distinguish myself and hold myself out as adding additional value that maybe some of these other new students couldn't provide. That was my opportunity that well, I tried you, to seize. You have broken my stereotypes <laughs> on two different points now because you've told us about the expectations from the new students coming in. And you've also raised a great point, which is that it's not too late to learn about eDiscovery even if you have graduated and you can come to wonderful programs like the ones we're doing today to learn about eDiscovery. I'm Monica Bay and thank you for being here.